Holy Spirit. I find out that the Holy Spirit uh, is living in us. So the Holy Spirit is not a stranger. It was promised by the uh, prophets of God and also was promised by Jesus Christ. But the same Holy Spirit, He is living in us. Yeah. He's living in us. He says, Your body is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Says, Your body is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit of God. And that's why the Bible says, because you have got something very, very important, very, very special in you, glorify God in your body. It's like a full-blown pregnant woman. Let's just take, for instance, he has got is pregnant and she is expecting a twin, they just say a twin. And then you can see that even if it is one child that a woman is expecting, that is the respect that is given to any woman. Whether it is a, a young child or it's a full grown up woman, there is a respect that is given to pregnancy. Once you see a pregnant woman, you give that respect. Either you stand up for her to sit down or you ask her, how can I help? Mom, how can I help you? Or you just you offer some help to her. And the reason for that is she is carrying something inside her. She is carrying a baby in her. So she now get a special respect that she wouldn't have got before without the baby that she is carrying. Praise God. Hello. So, I want to imagine it with our body carrying the Holy Spirit. Our body is carrying the Holy Spirit. And because our body is carrying the Holy Spirit, our body needs to be respected. Amen? Amen. Our body needs to be We need to respect our body. We need to respect our body. You know, when we talk about anxious, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, but in everything, give thanks. To God. Say so be anxious for nothing. But in everything give thanks to God. And the reason why God do not want us to be anxious is because something special is living in us. Something special is living in us. The, the spirits of God do not want us to disturb the presence in us. And that is why the word of God said to us, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, giving thanks to the Almighty God. Because the Spirit of God is living in us. And because the Spirit of God is living in us, the word of God wants us to respect the abode of the Spirit. Let's just take for instance, I don't know, the Prime Minister or the or the President that you respect most or the Queen or the Royal Family that you respect most let's just take for instance you just receive um, a visitor and that visitor is the Royal let's just take for instance um, Prince um, Williams 
if you do respect the students, one day, somebody knock at the door, you open the door, it is Prince William. What will you do? You take him inside and give him the special seat. And once he sits, you respect that very moment that he is there. Even if you are hungry, or even if there is some problems, you're going to, you know, a kind of hold it, conceal it. You're going to conceal the problem until when that special person go. Until when that special uh, prince leave. So in the same way, we also got to treat the Holy Spirit. We also got to treat the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is absolutely very, very special to in us. If we read First Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 16, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defies the temple of God, him shall God defy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. It says, If any man defies the temple of God, him shall God defy. Because the temple of God is holy. And that temple is what you are. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The temple of God is holy. And that temple is what says, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Do you not know? Do you not understand that? And then he says, because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, you should respect that body that is a carrier of the Holy Spirit. And it says, if any man defies the temple of God, him shall God defy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? So if any man defies, any woman defies, the temple of God. God will defend. God will revenge. You know, the Bible says, vengeance is mine, I will repair, said the Lord. Say, vengeance is mine, I will repair. So when you want to throw vengeance to somebody, to a brother, to a sister, you throw vengeance to them. That vengeance is going to come back to you. Amen. 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 So the Bible says that if any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God defile. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any, anyone among you seems seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. So if any man, if anyone amongst you seems to be wise in this world, let him become what? A fool that he may be wise. And that's why Jesus Christ says, I come not to be served, but to serve. I humbled myself. I come not to be served, but to serve. So if anyone, if anyone, want to become masters, you have to, first of all, come low before you become masters. So let no one deceive you. Let no one deceive you. If you read verse 19, it says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own Craftiness. See, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness. So when we are talking about wisdom, we are not talking about the wisdom of this world, but the wisdom of this world is foolishness. The wisdom of God is perfect. Okay. Why? Because the wisdom of God know the end from the beginning. But the wisdom of this world is just seeing a book here, and they start to treat it as a book. They don't know what this book will become tomorrow. 
But because God knows what this book will become tomorrow, He doesn't treat this book as an ordinary book. He puts attachment inside this very uh, book. Praise God. Uh, Just let no man deceive you. If anyone amongst you seems to be wise, be foolish. Let the world see you as stupid, foolish, just as they, as they see Jesus Christ as stupid, as foolish. They see the apostles as foolish. They see the disciples as stupid. So let no man So we can do that when we, when we do the things that, that looks like foolishness in the sight of, uh, uh, in the sight of the world. And what are those things that look like foolishness? Let's talk about forgiveness. Let's talk about forgiveness. You know, I, I had a, I had a bad talent here, and um, I wanted him to leave and. He is causing trouble, 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 trouble. But, you know, right within me, I was showing him mercy, 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 mercy. So, in his head, he think I'm foolish. In his head, he think this guy is foolish. And then he was recording everything, doing everything, because he was a kind of gathering, a kind of um, evidence. But at the end of the day, God showed him that he is God. It was, it was just done very, very quick, very, very fast. So, you, you become fool in the eyes of the world. But you know really why, what you are doing. But in the eyes of the world, you are just very, very foolish. Praise God. Amen. When the people of the world see what you are doing, they say, wow. You are, you, you are just like, you, you don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are missing. You don't know what you, you know, you don't know anything. Yes. In the worldly eyes, we don't know. You know, the Bible says, do to the others, do to others what you expect others to do to you. Do to others what you expect others to do to you. So when you are doing to others what you expect others to do to you, then someone there will be thinking, this guy is not wise. He should have done this, he should have done that, he should have done this, he should have revenge, he should have you know, taken action. But you do not want to revenge, you do not want to take action. You want to forgive. You want to follow peace with all men. Because Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. So you want to follow peace with all men. And somebody will see and say, wow, why is he following? Why is he peaceful? Why is he, you know, why this, why that, why this, why that, why this? But you know what you are doing. You want the return. You want to get the return back to you, the good return back. Even not now, but in the life. In the life ahead ahead of you. Amen. 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 So whenever we are doing anything in the name of the Lord, we should understand that even if we do not get the reward right now, or is there a definite thing that we are going to get the reward sometime in the future. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the word of God said to us, I will read verse 20. What it says, and again, the Lord knoweth the thought of the wise, that they are then. The Lord knoweth. He, he, he knows everything. Because he lives in you, Jesus. God lives in you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. So you can't escape. You can't escape. That is one song that said, you cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sins that no one has to know. You cannot hide it from God. Because before God, we are just, it's just like a light. 
shining before God. We are just like there. We cannot hide anything from God. Every of our deeds is visible before Him. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whatever we do in dark or in the in in the physical or in the real, it is just absolutely like the day in the sight of God. So we must live as those that carries the Holy Spirit because this Holy Spirit lives in us. So we must respect our body because our body is not ordinary body. Our body is carrying the Holy Spirit. We are the temple of God and our body is carrying something very, very special, something very, very important. And that thing that is special and important is the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So that's what the Bible says. Do you not know when you are, when you are fighting, when you are angry, when you are swearing, do you not know when you are committing adultery and fornication and when you are telling lies and when you are doing whatever bad thing you are doing, the Word of God says, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Where the Spirit of God dwelleth, that the Spirit of God dwelleth in your body. Do you not know that you need to respect that body? Mm -hmm. So today, I want us to understand that the Spirit of God dwelleth in us, in our body. And because the Spirit of God dwelleth in our body, we should respect He that is inside, the man that we have in us. We should respect that very man in us. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we have the Spirit of God in us. And we must respect that Spirit of God. And the way we should respect the Spirit of God is getting rid of getting rid of every bad thing that we are doing. But the Bible says, grieve not the Spirit of God. Do not grieve the Spirit of God. Do not grieve that Spirit. Because that spirit is already living in you. So we should respect that spirit of God. We should respect our body. We should give our life to Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. And everything Amen. will be added to us. Amen? Amen. So please today, my message today is just one point. Your body is the temple of the Spirit of God. Glorify God in your body. And then once you have this at the back of your mind, whenever you go control, you say, God, please forgive me. Whenever you do something that's wrong, oh, please, God, forgive me. God hears prayer. God will be forgiving you. God will be forgiving you. God will be forgiving you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is a very, very great God. Amen. Our God is a faithful God. So let us embrace the name of Jesus Christ in a very wonderful way. Let us embrace that name in a very, very marvelous way. Because that name, Jesus Christ, is in us. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, because you've made us to know, oh God, that our body is the temple of the living God. We are dwelling the Spirit of God. And you want us to respect our body. You want us to respect the dwelling place of the Spirit of God. Just as we respect every important visitor that we have in our house. So you want us to respect even the more, even the more, the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. Jesus. For I pray to you, Lord Jesus, that Father, you're going to give us grace to do this. It's not by power, it's not by might, but Father, it is by the Spirit of God. So you're going to give us grace to understand this. You're going to give us grace to challenge. You're going to give us grace, O oh God, to, to love you and to, uh, and to work for you. Our God is a great God. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a wonderful God. Thank God, Father. Pray. Take the glory. Take the honor. Set the people free. Deliver the people. Pull your people out of the marriage clear, O oh God. Save your people, O oh God. Protect your people, O oh God, to the glory of your name. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you, God of Thank, Thank, Thank you, God of Son. Thank you, God of Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. And amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.